Hello ladies and gentlemen, I spent a lot of time to make this project and I will tell you what happened. As some of you might have noticed, a few things already have changed. We have a different texture pack, we're missing our house, we have to start from the beginning. But the question is, why do we have to do that? Well, the thing is that I wanted to launch something in 1.16, I thought it would be a good thing to be in a newer version. but. Sadly, our server provider was straight up a scam. Why is that important? Well, the server I've hosted couldn't get to run. As soon as three players were on there, we had a horrible amount of lag. We had like 30,000 milliseconds behind whenever someone moved until someone leaves to only have like 10,000 milliseconds behind. And I tried everything. I tried Java parameters, I tried to put more RAM, less RAM. I just tried everything. I even talked to the support and telling them that this is obviously not correct, especially especially um, not correct because I also tried to run 1.16 vanilla and also 1.12 vanilla and even these versions, which are definitely not too much for a server with 16 gigabits of, uh, gigabits of RAM, even these lag and the support just wanted to tell me that we need more RAM because we were actually at the RAM limit with one of the mod packs. Which is definitely not solving the case I gave them because yeah obviously there was something wrong even vanilla was lagging no matter if 1.12 or 1.16 which is totally ridiculous. To come to the point we definitely had to get away from this provider. I almost felt like Move Games was hosting our servers. So after a lot of work I invested to first try out multiple versions on other servers slash machines to find out what will be the worst way to do now. I've also tried to um, I've also tried to solve the issue that some of our players like I've made a little group yeah as I told you I invited some people to play with me and <laughs> the problem with me is that if I invite them I definitely want them to be able to play. So I've spent a lot of time first trying to fix their clients so they can play, together with trying to find a way to host the server outside of this server provider, which is totally on a move games level of scam, in my opinion. So I tried around a lot with Minecraft versions, Minecraft mod variations, with different Java arguments to maybe make the map run smoother or to make more people connect. I tried to lower the random usage of the users to make them be able to even launch a client because <laughs> the sad thing about Minecraft is it's possible that you need to have about 8 gigabits of RAM to even boot the client but when playing it goes down to 3 which is totally ridiculous so most people were stuck at booting the client so they can't play but they could if they could manage to boot it so I fixed the clients I fixed the server and I ended up using 1.12 the reason for that besides that 1.16 is working way less good, which is kind of weird for a higher version, because um, it should be kind of more improved with RAM usage and shit. Uh, yeah, beside that, the mods we try to move, uh, we try to run are working, but not really optimized and also there's not much of variance. So I thought instead of going back to that 1.16, which is running uh, less good, and also not the newest version anymore because at the time I was working on these um, mod packs or I was working on the fixes mainly. 1.16.2 uh, got released which also brought me to the point that we probably can just go back, wait a bit and then if we want to we can try again with 1.16.2. Okay well I just came across these rooms and I guess Hunger won't be a problem. <laughs> so after I've told you what I've done and why we are here, I would like to tell you what we're going to do today. In this episode I would just like to gather some materials and maybe buy a buy <laughs> maybe build up a little house. Or like a little yeah, whatever, a little base, a little house, something like that. But I don't want to do it here. I don't want to do it too close to the spawn. So I will leave that little chest here for others or when I take it later. And we'll try to find a better place. And I don't know what that is, but I'm not interested right now. Ah, what a lovely lake. I'm definitely not gonna build here. This place here kinda looks interesting. Mmm, world gen. And this is our first new home. 
Maybe not my best idea, but definitely not the worst. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not so bad, but yeah, I've I've built better stuff. But just as I said, as I as I as I, as I, as I said, this will just be our base for like a bit, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so I'd say, look at this cool view. This is this is not bad. I mean, there's a lot of forest, so we have enough wood. We have a little mountain, so we have a lot of stone. And I'm just trying to make this better than it is. <laughs> it's not much, but it's honest work. And at least we can store a lot of stuff now. And we found some diamonds. Perfect. And a lot of gold, apparently. And of course we find another cave. I don't know why, but these... Iron pickaxes break way faster than I'm used to, which makes this a bit more <laughs> a bit more problematic because I would love to actually run around here for hours mining ores, but nah. I mean we have two more pickaxes, like one and a half, but they will probably break in a short time. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I don't have a cave, bruh. Oh wow, it's even. Oh god, not. <sighs> yep. This uh, will be fun. Oh damn. Oof. All right, guys. The following part, as you can already see on the screen, is sadly super out of sync, which means that audio and video is not in sync, so it's not there where it's supposed to be, and super. And everything is super synchronous, so it's super bad, and I'm just gonna explain what we're going to do here. What you can see in the background while I'm running around in my own cave is that I'm telling you that the normal soup, uh, the, 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 the normal tools are super bad for mining because they break super fast. And since we didn't build other, one, uh, other ones yet, we're going to build the mining total instead. And for this mining total, we need first the total itself, and then we still need the chunk loader, which I'm going to build as well while explaining how it works. Obviously, not gonna happen because it's super synchronous as, uh, right now, so I'm just gonna explain what happened instead of letting you hear it in a super, <laughs> super bad way. So, in general, it's super easy. You just build a computer, then you make it a total, and you combine it with the pickaxe. So, after that, we need an enchantment table and we can combine it with gold and an ender pearl to make it a chunk loader, which can load a lot of chunks at the same time, um, while even only needing it once. You can also mine it if you don't need it anymore, and then you can put it somewhere else if you need another chunk loaded. Also, I've built, I was building a little room because I would like to see what my turtle is doing, so I always build a room around it, so you can see what the turtle is doing on each side. Basically, you can run around that hole it was digging. Yeah, uh, because the turtle would just straight dig down till bedrock and you can just run around and check what is going on. Only out here because I was doing the room... If, um, not different. Uh, I was doing it wrong, I guess. I don't remember if it was this one or another one, but uh, <laughs> as far as I've seen, this room wasn't really perfect. But hey, still, it's, it's, it's fine, I guess. Also, in the second part of this video, which I'm going to... Uh, which I'm also going to... Uh, bo -bo -bo. How is it called? How is it called? To, to which I'm going to vi uh, voice over. You will also see the start of us building a smeltery. Sadly, the problem is with that file. Uh, I don't know. It was super long. Remember, I was going to mine, and I thought like, okay, if I d if I use that mine footage for the video later, it would be nice. So you can see me maybe mining while talking about something like I do right now. Um, but the problem is the <laughs> the mi the the mining. Yeah, the mining basically made this file asynchronous. In the fact that if you record things too long, it might get asynchronous at a certain point, especially if you're low, uh, if you're recording at a high quality. So currently, I'm recording at 15,000 megabits, and YouTube uh, scales it down to 10. So it's probably unnecessary to do that, but I just like to have a high video quality. Anyway, um, if there's a lot to write on your hard drive, and your hard drive is even maybe too slow, or maybe goes. Um, and not goes AFK, but um, goes into standby or whatever while recording. It could happen that stuff is asynchronous because it has to start writing again, and then it didn't capture it correctly, and then it just has to do it after it. It's, it's super complicated. I don't know, man. 
Uh, anyway, this stuff happens then. So I've recorded for several hours and I forgot to make a cut, like for the first thing. And this happened. Yeah, it's super synchronous now. Anyway, I've built up the turtle, the turtle is working underground and now I'm going to build up a smeltery and I hope that we have some footage which is not as synchronous about the smeltery, otherwise even if not, we definitely gonna see this and more in the second part. Sorry for that, and now enjoy the video. So, we have the best slot for that, or not a slot, but uh, um, the best spot for the smeltery, so we're gonna place the ground, finish the first wall. Already demolish it because we have to place the other things. Placing the tank, the controller, putting a sealed drain, finishing the second stage, put a faucet in the casting table, put a chest, put a hopper onto the chest, and voila, we have our first little smeltery. Probably functioning. But since we have enough materials, we're also gonna put a third and fourth stage. Also, since it's a smeltery, we need something to smelt something. That was a super great sentence. So we put lava in our sewer tank, and now the smeltery is finally working. The only thing we have to do first is to put some... Oh, that's not what we want to put in there. We're gonna put some gold and some iron to duplicate them. Because if we put something in the smeltery, you get double the amount of ores it would usually drop. So out of these 30 or 40 gold, we're now gonna get like 60 to 80. So the thing is that we can't get them yet. For that we need like... How is it called? I don't know how it's called, but you will see what we're gonna do. We need something to... Uh, to get them in the chest. So we're gonna put an iron there. We have our molten gold. We're gonna click on the faucet. And it's gonna make... Hmm, pause champ, what will it be? An, ing uh, an ingot cast. Cast! And with that ingot cast, we now can just make ingots. That's what it's for. Yep. But since we don't want to click that button all the time, I have a better solution. We're gonna use the redstone clock. This one is repeating active this one is actively repeating the signal of the faucet. As long as we keep it active. If we turn it off, nothing happens. If we turn it on, it keeps doing ingots. Pretty easy. Pretty effective. Oops. This is uh iron ingot. We don't want to smell that. Okay, but since we don't want Mr. Turtle to be lazy, we're gonna tell him to do another job. This time on 6x6, which is probably yeah, the full room. So let's go Mr. Turtle, show us what you can give us. Okay, since Mr. Turtle is working and just matter is doing her job, I'd say we're gonna end it for this episode. Well, <laughs> we actually have about 4 hours of gameplay or like 4 hours of gameplay footage, which you will only see about 10 to 20 minutes of, so yeah, I actually think we're fine. Next time we're gonna work on expansion of our storage, maybe move to another location, or just show you some great inventions of the smart pack. Thanks for watching, have a good day, bye bye.